Cracking the code of closed-ended questions in English. Hello, language explorers. Welcome to another exciting episode of our English language learning series. Today, we will dive deep into the realm of closed-ended questions. These types of questions can help make your conversations more structured, clear, and effective. Let's jump right into it. Closed-ended questions are those that have specific, limited answers. They usually require a yes, no, or a brief piece of information as a response. They are great for gathering specific details and usually begin with words such as is, are, do, does, have, has, or can. Here are some examples. Is it raining outside? Do you like pizza? Have you seen this movie? In all these examples, the answers are brief and defined. In any conversation, the way you ask a question can make a big difference. Closed-ended questions are important because they allow you to control the conversation to some extent. They elicit short responses, often leading to clear, concise information. Formulating your own closed-ended questions is straightforward. You just need to start your questions with auxiliary verbs like do, does, is, are, have, or modal verbs like can, could, will, or would. After these, you usually place the subject, followed by the main verb or adjective. For example, will you come to the party? Can you drive? Practice creating your own closed-ended questions using this pattern and you'll quickly become comfortable with it. So, that was all about closed-ended questions. We hope you found this video helpful in enhancing your English conversational skills. Remember, closed-ended questions are your secret weapon for leading conversations and obtaining precise information. Stay curious, keep practicing, and until next time, happy learning.